All right, guys, back again with another video for my Montana trip. Please bear with me with the voiceover. I was having some trouble with the audio in all my videos that I had. And I really don't want to make another video with just, just music playing in the background. Nobody wants to hear that. So this is my best option at this point. So the, this spot right here, I had fished it the day before. Lost an absolute tank of a rainbow. I hooked into him. He took off. He jumped two feet out of the water, flashes colors right in front of me, and I literally threw the hook back in my face. Um, I'd seen a lot of top water action in mid-morning, so this was my only chance to really get in redemption before I left and uh, had to go back home cross-country. So I was a little pressed for time, but uh, I, was, uh, I was using one spinner uh, this whole video, which is a gold Panther Martin number two. I believe it's a 116th ounce. Not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure it's number two, one sixteenth either way. Um, I was just getting it out there as far as I could, a little bit upstream, giving it about a two second pause just to get down off the bottom, giving it a slow, steady retrieve across the deeper section of the run with you know occasional pause here and there in the retrieve. But um, that seemed to work well for me. Um, I only had about a half hour at this spot, so but. As you can see, <clears throat> I do hook into one at this spot. Um, wasn't wasn't that rainbow that I was looking for, but it was a fish nonetheless. Don't take it as I'm complaining, because I'm definitely not. Uh, I don't have these fish by me, so this is a bucket list fish for me. Anything to help make that list smaller is fine by me. But um, yeah, I was really uh, I was really not trying to let these fish fight too much because one. This is new water for me, so I don't know if there's any anything underneath the, you know, anything on the bottom that I can get hooked up on, snagged, break the line. I have no idea. Like I said, this is my second time fishing this area. You can't really see out in the center, so anything's possible. And also, you really don't want to stress these fish out. These are all natural reproducing fish. You don't want to, you don't want to fight them any longer than you have to. So the quicker you get them in, the safer it is for the fish. Um especially trout um, they're definitely not the most robust fish out there so after a good hard fight which they always give 100 110 percent especially in this cold weather they really go all out that's why i tend to horse them in and not really play them out so much because they pretty much just give it all they got and if you don't take the time and really hold them in the water and take care and make sure that they're doing well when they get released a lot of times they won't make it. This is one of the best fisheries in the world. I mean, it's it's remarkable how nice these rivers are, and the amount of fish in these rivers is still it's it's really it's staggering. I mean, the first day that I went there, when I first looked down, there was maybe 50, 60 of these white fish just moving up through the channel, right behind them, 10, 15 rainbows all stacked up just moving. But this place is it's unbelievable. But on this next part, when I go to my next spot, uh, I forgot my net. That was that was definitely on me. Because this next this next spot, if you look real close to the bank, it's it's super muddy, and then it doesn't really get too deep until about ten feet out. So <clears throat> that made it hard for me to to release all these fish. Um, but this section of the river was it was pretty much as close to perfect as you can get. Uh, a little bit further down the river is a fast, uh, a fast rip, and then right where this part was, it was, it was just, it was just deep enough to where the water movement slowed down, and it was pretty much just a staging area before they had, uh, they get that stamina back up for the next leg up to push up the river, try to get to those spawning grounds. Um, but these fish, they were aggressive. They were, they were chasing these spinners across the river. I guess those spinners had enough flash and enough uh, enough vibration to really piss them off and get them to come out from the other side because this water was clear enough to where I could see most of these strikes coming. So these these weren't reaction strikes. They were they were actually taking the time to chase this bait down and hit it, you know, on a nice steady retrieve. But the colors on these fish were just amazing. Uh, this is actually my first time first time fishing this river too i just happened to be looking out the window and i just i saw that section of the run and i was like oh, i gotta i gotta hop out 
but this this place is unbelievable. <clears throat> this was actually uh, on the north side of the park, on the Yellowstone River. So if you uh, if you've never visited Montana or visited the park, it's it's a must see. I mean, the place is unbelievable. I had to use a spinning rod on this uh, on this trip most of the time, just because I didn't really have the time. You know, it was a vacation, and I was lucky enough to where my wife let me do a couple stops, and I was able to put some time in. But um, you could pretty much pick anywhere and fish. I mean, I put about thirty-five minutes into this spot, and I picked up three, maybe four fish. I lost one. So, I mean, the fishery is just, it's unbelievable. It really is. But, um, yeah, if you guys, if you guys have any questions about the park, the rivers, the fish, anything I was using techniques, um, feel free to reach out. I'll be more than happy to help you out as much as I can. Um, like I said, I'm no expert on this, but this was my first trip ever, you know, and to me, these are these are fish of a lifetime. Not too many people can go the first time and get into fish like this. I mean, I'm thankful. These fish were these fish were gorgeous. You could see the colors on these fish. It was it really was something. But um, reach out. Like I said, this is a new channel. Um, I'm just getting this started. I got a bunch more videos coming out. Uh, especially with the weather starting to warm up. It's getting nicer where I live. So I'm going to be trying to get as much content out as I can, especially on the kayak. I have a lot of fishing trips planned for that and the boat as well. But uh, I'm excited to get those videos out to you guys. Hopefully you'll enjoy them. But I'll see you guys on the next one. As always, tight lines. Walking alone, the streets are empty The only thing I can see is my own silhouette I'm getting stronger, step by step The clock is ticking, but there's no time for me I've been flying from town to town